What is up guys, Zanif Tech is here, and here it is, the iPhone 10, not the X, the 10, Apple's newest flagship phone that really changed the way you use your iPhone. The front of it has an amazing 5.8 inch display, super retina display as Apple calls it, with true tone, P3 color gamut, and 634 nits. It's pretty bright, but not in sunlight. The side of it has an amazing premium stainless steel finish. It reminds me of the old iPod touches that scratched easily, but I do like the premium feel, especially at 7.7 millimeters. The back of the iPhone 10 is all glass now, just like how it was on the 4 and 4S. It brings wireless charging to the table, and I'm really glad that Apple decided to bring that in. The camera hump does protrude out a little bit more, and it's now vertical instead of horizontal, like the 6 Plus and the 7 Plus and the 8 Plus. Inside the box, you have the exact same accessories as the previous three generations. I wish Apple had a higher wattage power adapter so it can support fast charging just like the actual iPhone does, but they didn't. Here I have the original real iPhone side by side with the clone one that I made a review on a couple videos ago. And as you can see, they never released this blush gold color or this nice rose colored gold on the bands, which I'm kind of glad they didn't. The front of it did have a white display compared to all other models that came out are all with a black display. And to be honest, thankfully they didn't include the white border on the display because it looks a bit tacky and out of place and doesn't seem as premium as Apple would really make their products. And you can see all the sensors, so it's a no go. Here you can see the iPhone 10 is really slim. It fits perfectly in the hand, especially with big hands like mine, and it just makes the device look really premium with this all glass display. Yes, there is this notch that nobody likes, but come on guys, we have to embrace it like Apple says. Apple has made iOS 11 optimized for the iPhone 10 with gestures since there's no home button. Some things I really like, but some things is kind of annoying, just like the Closing of apps, you have to hold down on them, hit a little red X, and then they come out. Then here you go, another problem is the black borders. On apps that are not optimized for iPhone X, you can see that it makes the ratio the same as the iPhone 6, 7, and 8. It's not that bad, it's not blurry, but come on, they had a, quite a bit of time over the summer to optimize these apps with probably Apple dummy phones they sent them. But, you know, hopefully they update them in the near future. Here have an HDR video from YouTube playing on the iPhone 10. With the pinch to zoom feature, you can see that it fills up the entire display, besides the notch of course, but it just looks amazing and I can't believe there's a display on iPhone like this. The facial recognition setup is pretty simple, you align your face and you rotate your head 360 degrees until you fill up the circle. I did notice that it doesn't work when you're laying down most of the time, which I hope they fix in future updates. The phone does unlock when it's upright perfectly fine, and I did notice that some people are complaining about it unlocking slower than Touch ID. It is slower, but there's a way to speed it up by actually swiping up before it even unlocks, so that by the time you swipe up, it's already unlocked, so it automatically goes to your home screen. It's a cool feature, you should try it out. Here are the N emojis. These cool animated emojis that uses the facial tracking technology that Face ID uses on the iPhone 10, and they're really cool to have conversations with other people with the iPhone 10. It's kind of a bummer that they didn't have them on the 8 and 8 Plus due to the hardware lacking. iPhone 10 does support wireless charging, and to be exact, 7.5 watts. Out of the box, it only supported 5, just like the regular charging block, but now with the future iOS 11.2 release, it will support the full 7.5 watts. I did notice that if you place the iPhone on certain parts of this specific Belkin wireless charger, it has a hard time recognizing it and you have to place the phone exactly on the coils for it to work. That would be kind of annoying and you might forget it at night when you're going to sleep that you didn't put it on correctly. Apple does include fast charging on the iPhone 10, 8 and 8 Plus, but they do make you go out and buy your own fast charger and USB cable. If you have a MacBook, or a MacBook Pro, one of the new ones with USB-C, you can use that block. 
but you have to buy your own USB-C to lightning connector cable. And if you don't have the new MacBooks, then you have to buy the block as well, which is really hefty in price. So your other alternative is to use the regular 5 watt with the USB to lightning connector cable that's included in the box. Your next option would be wireless charging, and that is around $60, but it's with no wires, of course. The Geekbench scores are pretty high with 101.45 for the multi-thread, which is a lot faster than the 7 Plus as you can see, and the single core is higher as well by a lot, about 1200. This is like a supercomputer, that's why they call them super phones now, and I'm glad that technology is getting smaller and faster. Great improvement on this iPhone. Compared to the 8 Plus, the iPhone 10 does have dual optical stabilization and it does help a lot when shooting videos or fast moving videos and it makes the camera a lot better. Here you can see when you shoot a photo, it looks really nice. The colors are really nice with this nice AMOLED display and to be honest, the camera is getting better and better every single generation. It's just unbelievable how good they can be, even the front facing one. When shooting a video, here's the stabilization I was talking about. You can see when you move up and down or shake it a bit, it flows nicely. It looks like a high-end camera in a smartphone. A couple years ago, we couldn't believe that this could happen, but now Apple's making it happen and so are other smartphone manufacturers. Amazing cameras, amazing phone. I really like them a lot. The back of it just looks really nice too, especially this white with stainless steel. Thank you for watching my iPhone 10 review. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe. And I'll definitely be back. Stay tuned for more videos and future giveaways on this channel. Don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss one of my new videos. Zanif Tech is out.